Hey howdy hey what is going on you guys welcome back to another video now in today's video we're going to be setting up a cane toad setup more specifically it's going to be a budget cane toad setup so not too long ago I did a budget turtle setup and that video did pretty well and a lot of you guys wanted me to do more budget setups and I understand a lot of you guys are younger and don't have a job or anything like that where you can't get a whole bunch of stuff as easily if that makes any sense so a budget setup is kind of ideal for a lot of you guys and don't forget I was at that point too and I still kind of of am where I have to cut corners do budget setups for my animals so don't worry you're not alone I feel the pain <laughs> So in today's video, we're going to be doing a budget cane toad setup. The star toad of this video is going to be Gucci. Hi Gucci, everybody say hi. She's kind of being sassy and, and grumpy today, but we'll get her out here in a little bit. We've got a whole bunch of ingredients and whatnot here, and we're going to be setting this enclosure up for a cane toad. Keep in mind, it's not going to be very pretty. It's not going to be as pretty as a glass enclosure or anything like that, because once again, this is a budget setup. And this setup is going to cost you anywhere from $50 to $100. It all depends on what you add and what you don't add. So it depends on location, but we'll get to that here soon. So yeah, we're gonna head outside and set the tub up outside because it's a really nice day out. Here we go. Whoa, well I guess we're outside now. So yeah, as I said, we got all of our ingredients here and we're gonna start setting up this enclosure. Now one more thing I will add is this tub setup may not be enough for a permanent housing of a cane toad or even multiple cane toads. It's a smaller size tub and you could get away with maybe one adult male but I really wouldn't do much more. Adult females and things like that just get too big. But this tub setup will work nonetheless for baby cane toads and other species of frogs and toads. Now we picked up our tub from Walmart here. Now this tub is a 105 quart tub or 99 liter tub so it's a pretty decent sized tub as you can see. This is what we're going to be using for the video. Next ingredient is you're gonna need some sand, which we'll get to that here in a second. Then you're gonna need some peat moss. It's literally just a, it's literally just dirt. Like there's nothing fancy about it. It's just dirt. Then you may want to add some fake plants. It kind of depends. Then a really large size water bowl and a really deep one as well. Lastly, a hide or two. Hides are very important and we'll get to that here in a second. If you're keeping your cane toad outside where it's colder, then you're definitely going to want some sort of heating elements on it, whether it's a heat lamp, heat pad, things like that. Now I'm setting this tub up outside, but it's actually going to go in the reptile room once we're done with the video. Now I typically recommend keeping your cane toads on their warm side about 80 to 85 degrees and about 75 degrees on their cooler side. My reptile room naturally stays warm because I've got so many heating elements already inside of it and there's all these different cages so I don't have to worry about adding any sort of heat pad or anything like that. But if you have to worry about adding a heat pad and a thermostat and all that, that is definitely going to up your cost by about $30 to $40. So keep that in mind. But if you cannot get the enclosure upwards of 75 degrees, then you definitely, definitely want a heat pad and a thermostat. But as I said, the reptile room automatically stays super duper warm. So the first thing we're going to do is add a little bit of peat moss and a little bit of sand. We're going to mix both our substrates together to create a really nice healthy blend. Now a bag of peat moss you can find at like Lowe's or Home Depot for about 10 bucks. And then a bag of play sand you can find at Lowe's or Home Depot once again for like 2 to $5. So now we've got our substrate mixed up. As you can see, there are little tiny grains of sand in with the dirt. To add our hide, it doesn't really matter. You can get multiple hides. Multiple hides is always better. We're going to dig it out just a little bit here. Just like so. So now we've got a nice little cork hide. Now a cork hide like this literally is going to cost you like 5 to $10. Cork is super cheap and inexpensive, but I really love using cork on a lot of my setups. Now that we've got our hide in, we're going to go ahead, get our water bowl here. We're going to dig it out in the corner really, really well, just like so. Boom, we're going to bury it, cover it around with all sorts of dirt, and boom, now we've got our water bowl and our hide. be quite honest, you're pretty much halfway there. Cane toads are super easy pet toads to take care of for the most part. Feeding is honestly like the most difficult part. Right now with everything that we have, we're looking at about, about $30 to $40 worth of stuff. Now I've got these fake plants here. I like adding fake plants for extra humidity and decor and things like that. You don't have to. You really, really don't. But I like adding them in the corners and whatnot just for a little extra decoration and once again, humidity. Get that plant back in the corner there. Nice and neat. And there you have it. That's literally it. All you have to do is add your water. Now, of course, when you add the water, make sure it's dechlorinated water. One other thing you could do is take an old milk jug, fill it up with water, let it sit for 24 hours, and all the chlorine will naturally evaporate. Then spray it down. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to spray this tub down really well. Now that our tub is sprayed down, we're going to go ahead and throw our lid right on top. 
Now, one thing you may want to keep in mind is if you've got an air locking tub, you obviously won't have enough ventilation for your frogs or toads. So make sure that you've got holes in it or you've got a tub that doesn't really lock or seal the air out. Basically, as you can see there, it just very loosely sits on there. And of course there's holes right in here. So air flows in really easily. So as long as you've got enough airflow and your toads aren't gonna suffocate, then you're pretty much good to go. Now it's time to go inside and add the queen, you guys know who I'm talking about, to her new temporary setup. Oh Gucci, guess who's here? Gucci, what are you doing fat girl? Hey, don't be sassy, come on, I gotta show you something, come here, come here. Fighting, I gotta show you something fatty, I gotta show you something fatty, stop moving Gucci. Gucci, look what we have for you, go take a look. Go see what it is. Go, Gucci. Go. Boop. Go, fatty. You're so fat. You can't even move. We got you a setup. Guys, I don't think she even cares about this setup like one bit. Okay, I'm gonna set the camera down. We're gonna put you in, okay? Don't fight. There. Go in there. There she goes. Oh, she just went into the hide. Gucci just went bloop, straight into the hide. There she goes. And she's gone. So as you can see, she's actually a decent size compared to this tub. I still wouldn't put an adult female like her in a tub this size, but you can kind of get a good comparison. Well, Gucci's not too happy about me moving here, so let's go put her back in her cage. All right, we're going back in now. I'm sorry. Forgive me, big girl. All right, back home. There you go. Go free, big girl. Go free, big fatty. You're good to go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Miss Sassy Gucci. Everyone, say bye to Gucci. We'll leave her be. She gets stressed out very easily, as you can see. She just wants to be left alone. Later, Gucci. Later. Well, there y'all have it. That was building a bioact, not a bioactive. Why did I say that? Why did I say? Why do I say these things? Oh my! Well, there y'all have it. That was building a budget cane toad setup. All in all, with the heat pad and the setup, you're gonna look about seventy, eighty dollars, and that's on the high end. Now, without the heat pad and without the thermostat and all that, then it's easily a fifty dollar setup. So I guess make sure to keep all that in mind if you're gonna set up a budget cane toad enclosure. Now before we end the video here, I've got some of this rotting honeydew melon. We're gonna go ahead and break it open for the tortoises outside. Let's break this open, let's break this open. Left hand throw. There we go. It exploded. What the heck? Well, we're literally gonna just take this chunk right here. Oh my gosh, look at all that honeydew melon. It's getting water, honeydew melon everywhere. Here guys, come here. Come here, look. I got something for you. Look at that, come take a look at that. See what it is. Go, go check it out. Look y'all, she's automatically interested on what that is. She's gonna go check it out. Look, take a look. Get some. There she goes, right off the bat, just munching. Just straight munching on it. <laughs> y'all, one of our radiator sliders has finally come out from underground. Hi, buddy. Hi. This whole area is like so lively right now. Now I'm gonna redo this pond eventually, and I might add some more bodies of water to this area. But right now, this area looks so good. Of course, got Torsi here, Diamond right there, Sadie there. And there are three turtles, two red ears, one which is out right now, and one African side neck which is still burrowed. But our flowers are blooming, the ferns are growing. It looks absolutely fantastic out here. But yeah, I'll leave you guys be. Enjoy y'all's honeydew melon. Then if y'all look closely, our boy Gamera is sticking his head out. Y'all see it right there? Oh, he just disappeared. So Gamera is doing just fine. I'm still working on clearing up all this algae, as you can see. But with the sun beaming right down on it all day long, obviously algae is going to grow. So yeah, to be quite honest, it really never ends here at the reptile house, reptile sanctuary, whatever you want to call it. It never ends. There's always stuff to get done. For example, here soon we got to clean out Blue's cage and get him ready for summer. And that might be a whole nother video. Then I got to set these guys up and get them ready for summer as well. So yeah, with all that being said, that was building a budget cane toad setup. Super cheap, super easy to do. And if you guys are looking to get a cane toad, you might as well set them up like this. And every so often I actually sell cane toads. So if y'all follow me on my Instagram, I'll do a post whenever I have some for sale. And y'all can message me and order your very own cane toad from me. Hey, if you're a subscriber, I'll give y'all a discount. Don't worry. 
With all that being said, like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill. Cop the merch, by the way. I haven't seen too many people buying the merch. Like, what's wrong with you? Get this merch so soft, so comfortable. With all that being said, subscribe, like, comment, blah, blah, blah. Same thing I say every video. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace! Gucci, hey, can you talk to me? Can we please talk? I'm sorry if I made you upset. Gucci.